just stormed here pretty bad and Charles and I actually had to reset our anchor in the middle of the storm. The gusts were coming in at like 45 knots and it was just pouring rain. We were worried about our anchor dragging a little bit. This vessel here just got here and they still have their quarantine flag up. So I think they just got here and went ashore to get checked in and their boat has dragged really far and it's coming up like to these houses right here. Charles just drove out there to go uh, hop on the boat. Somebody else made it there before us, thank God, because um, it took us a while. The dinghy was full of water and then the engine wouldn't start and it was just a disaster. I don't know, their boat was probably drug over 200 feet. I'm really bad at me measurements, but I'll verify that. I'm really stressed. This boat is just like going towards these houses that have just been rebuilt because after Dorian and have just made it through so much and I just don't want these people's boat or those people's houses to uh, be damaged. Whew. So many people are getting in their dinghies and coming to help now. The cavalry is on the way, thank God. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I think that's the owners too. You must have heard the call on VHF. Okay, engine started, owners on board, everything looks like it's gonna be okay. Time to get on a call? Uh, yeah, I actually had to push the call. I was supposed to get on the call like literally right when I had to go out there. Um, yeah, time to get back to work. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Always up. So it's time for some real talk. We've been here for almost a month and our personalities have struggled to really let us enjoy being here. We are people that always focus on what's next. And I think that has really hampered our ability to enjoy what we're actually doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So I have a couple of friends that have talked to me in the past about uh, a mindfulness practice and how it has helped them with similar problems in the past. So we've been doing it for almost a week now. Our hope with that mindfulness is it will really allow us to live in the present. And while we're always gonna be people that focus on what's next, hopefully the, the mindfulness will allow us to get out of that a little bit and enjoy the journey. <laughs> Guys, trust me, I know that this sounds a little crunchy. And maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but we have really struggled with just embracing the moments that we are in in this beautiful place and we've hit so many big goals this year like we bought a boat or i guess last year we bought a boat 
like it's time for us to slow down and really enjoy these things and we've just been struggling with it you know if you've ever hit a big goal and not stopped to fully appreciate it maybe you should look into this too <laughs> because apparently it's going to help us do that and if you have been practicing mindfulness for a long time and you've had some success with it please put it in the comments below for just kind of what that kind of aha moment was or how long you were doing it or just kind of anything about it because we're just learning. Ready? Yep. Oh, and yeah, we're still millennials, so we do everything on our phone. Welcome to day five of the Waking Up course. It's amazing how difficult it can be to focus on something as simple as breathing in and out. There are times when we really feel like we're getting it. And then... Gosh, what's that? What is that? Hello. Hey. Yeah. The people whose boat you saved brought you a gift. What? Yeah. They brought you, they're from Vermont initially, and they brought you Vermont pure maple syrup. That's awesome. <laughs> I, just, I told them it wasn't necessary, but that's super sweet. That is awesome. I love this community. Everybody is so great. Save a boat, get some syrup. Pure and natural old fashioned maple syrup is made from sap of the sugar maple tree. Approximately 40 gallons of maple sap are boiled down to produce one gallon of pure maple syrup. That's crazy. It's a lot of syrup. I've got an idea. Let's go. When life hands you syrup, you make a McGriddle. I love making a hot breakfast every single morning. So, gonna get a little creative this morning. Wasn't what I had planned, but it's gonna be good. Not only did we luck out with the syrup, but we actually have all the ingredients we need on board. Blending your egg whites makes your waffles super fluffy. Gently, ever so gently fold in the egg whites. She's not fancy, but she works. While that's warming up, this is where it gets to be a dance on timing. So, gotta fry the eggs and make the waffles at the same time. I can do it. Yeah! smells really good. I don't know if I've ever had Vermont pure maple syrup before. I know I've never been to Vermont, so. I'm excited. Now we eat before they get cold and ruined. That was an amazing way to start the day. I am so glad I saved that boat. I would have done it anyway, but good karma has equaled good food this morning, but we have a lot to get done today, so I'm going to finish this last waffle, and we are going to get ready and get going. Great success. Okay. Oh, Bobby. Waffle. Waffle. Oh.
beaches and run punches. Sometimes Saturday means laundry day. But fortunately, because laundry mats have multiple machines, you can get four loads done in the time it normally takes to do one. Knock it all out once. Out of curiosity, is that like 25 bucks? 38. 38? Yeah. If you have room for a washer and dryer on your boat, it might not be a bad idea because you'll spend, you'll spend the money doing laundry at a laundry mat. We just don't have the room for it.
So we're going to be out here searching for turtles because they come out at dusk, but uh, I don't know if we're going to see any tonight. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. And we'll see you next week.